Hey, I'm Lapman, I'm a DJ and producer. I'm a size eight shoe size. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It's Lapman DJ on everything. So an interesting fact about Lapman is actually that before I was a DJ, um, I was actually a pro freestyle kiker. Um, and I actually competed for Great Britain and won a bronze medal in the Europeans once. Playing in a city like Manchester is really important. It's one of the key stop-offs in the UK. The crowd is always really supportive here, really loyal. I first got into the music industry properly, or wanted to get into the music industry, when I got my first full-time job and decided that was definitely not what I wanted to do. Um, so while I was at university, I got into the scene, and into the music and involved. And then, yeah, finished uni, went and did a, a graduate job for a year, decided it wasn't for me, um, and the music scene was the only way to go. My top tracks, um, probably, Souls of Mischief, 93 to Infinity, which is a hip hop track. Um, got lots of happy memories to that track, it just always inspires me even to this day. Um, the whole of the Left Field, Left Is album, I can't say one track, which is also good. And um, I blew my first pair of speakers up to that as well, so that's an important one. Um, and probably Jamie Jones, Hungry for the Power, which is a bit obvious, but it was a big inspiring track for me when I was um, really starting to get into the scene, so they're the ones for me. I can remember the first pair of trainers I bought. Um, it was, I can't remember exactly which ones, but it was some kind of Adidas Originals. They were white um, with red stripes, and they were pretty sick of them. If I had to wear one pair of trainers for the rest of my life, it would definitely have to be Air Force Ones, because there's nothing like when you open a fresh pair of Air Force Ones in a box and there's so many different variations and colours that keep me excited forever. I, think. I do own quite a lot of shoes, I'd say about 40 pairs or so, but not all of them are still in like a wearable condition, because as a DJ you have a habit of like ruining shoes, but yeah I definitely still have them all in quite a big collection.